I'm presenting the epidemiological burden of cancer. And so with cancer, there are 14 million new cancer cases each year and 8 million uh, cancer deaths. So it's really important to understand the geographical distribution of these cancer incident cases and cancer deaths because they're not the same for every country in the world. So the differences between countries allow us to generate hypotheses on what might be causing these cancer differences, specifically genetic differences and risk factor differences such as smoking and obesity. Well, we found quite a big difference in uh, the burden of cancer between countries. For example, with lip oral cavity and pharyngeal cancers, we noticed that lip cancers are much more common in Australia as well as Europe. This is due to two reasons. With Australia, lip cancers are due to sun exposure. But in Europe, it's due to people resting their cigarettes on their lips while they smoke, which causes a heat transfer and causes cancer to develop on the lip. The reason why we're doing this is to look at the differences between countries. And these differences, if they're not genetic and they are due to risk factors, you can potentially intervene uh, by increasing taxation of tobacco uh, through promoting healthy diets and weight loss. And by doing this, you can reduce the unnecessary burden of cancer in these countries that are related to these risk factors. The research that we perform is part of a bigger picture of research. We perform the cancer surveillance part. There are also other researchers who then take that information and then implement uh, research looking at different policies. So governments will implement different policies to reduce cancer in different countries, such as increasing tobacco tax, and other researchers will look at whether or not that tobacco taxation has an effect on lung cancer. Yeah, so as part of IARC, we work with various different organizations who look at different policies as well and they look at the cost effectiveness of these policies and what the effect of them are. And specifically, we'll work with organizations such as the World Health Organization, which we are a part of. We find it's very difficult to uh, disseminate this knowledge to the general public. Um, it's often very complex and it's very hard to understand. And even when it's a simple message, such as alcohols are carcinogen, it's difficult to get the message out there. And with alcohol in particular, many people don't know it's a carcinogen, and therefore they don't know by engaging in heavy drinking, they're at a higher risk of cancer. So the take home message of the research that I do is that the burden of cancer is unnecessarily high due to various risk factors. And these risk factors can be reduced through individual methods, such as clinicians giving advice to their patients, people taking it on themselves to reduce the risk factors, so losing weight, not smoking, cutting down on their alcohol consumption, and governments through increases in taxation and public education programs. So this summer school is a benefit to me and as well as the students that are coming here. All too often we go to conferences and they're focused on specific areas. And when they're not focused on specific areas, what happens is we usually go to the conference presentations we like. But this conference itself is focused on translational research. So by interacting with scientists in other areas, we're able to generate hypotheses and translate the research that other people have done uh, on the bench to more population health where I am. And therefore, we can make a huge impact on cancer as well as speed up the process of the translational research.